What's going on YouTube? I'm Khalil from K Slick TV. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be discussing how to grow your YouTube channel faster. Yes, faster. Start getting that moolah, baby. Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them if you come. Without further delay, we're gonna jump into this video. When launching a YouTube channel, how long is among the first questions that come to mind? How long will it take me to reach 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of view time, and the point at which I can rely only on my YouTube channel for income? The short answer is that nobody can give you an exact time estimate. It may take a few weeks, a few months, and even a few years for some people. This can depend on a variety of factors, including your familiarity with video editing, your knowledge of SEO, your on-screen presence, any potential fan networks you can use to generate initial traffic, etc. Today's video is about how to monetize your YouTube channel faster. Let's begin immediately. Two primary requirements, or goals, for YouTube monetization must be satisfied in order to be approved into the partner program. You At this point, y'all should be pausing the video. In your pen and pad, y'all could take notes. They're going to drop some gems in this one for y'all. Y'all could get your channel up and running like the pros do. You will first require 4,000 hours of watch time over the previous 365 days. The second requirement is that you have 1,000 subscribers. You also need to have an AdSense account set up and adhere to all YouTube laws and rules. Let's move on to the objectives since following the rules and creating an AdSense account is rather simple. These two objectives do initially appear to be quite a lot, especially when you are just getting started. After classifying the objectives for monetizing your YouTube channel, let's move on to the strategies you should use to get there quickly. Make videos with a target audience in mind. We frequently observe folks having difficulty in this area. Making films for a specific audience entails concentrating on a niche interest and producing content to pique that interest. Interest is the essential word here, and this is one of the concepts that is frequently misinterpreted. This interest in your area of expertise or the subjects of your films. For instance, if you run a tech channel and focus primarily on tech reviews, your viewers will primarily be tech enthusiasts. Because it is targeted at them and something they are interested in, when you post a video, the individuals who view it are more inclined to watch other videos on your channel or click through on your thumbnail. Let's now consider another illustration. Although you still have a tech-focused channel, you recently bought a vintage Chevy that you plan to restore and document in videos. What will happen when those who have proven their interest in technology are now offered films about automobile restoration? They will just skim over them, leading the YouTube algorithm to believe that this video is not pertinent to these specific users. When you upload another tech video later, consider how that will function. How will the algorithm determine which audience this content is appropriate for? Should this video be offered to your newest subscribers, Chevy Restoration Video Seekers, or the group you previously alienated? To attract viewers who are interested in the videos you produce, stick to a narrow specialty. YouTube will learn that this type of viewer is watching more of your videos as you produce more of them, and your videos will begin to be suggested to viewers who have your interests. There are billions of users on YouTube, so you don't have to limit your attention to the most popular themes, even if you create videos about extremely niche topics, there is almost certainly a market for them. This may be quite beneficial for channel growth after you have a sizable number of videos on your channel. Well. Do you like what you are seeing so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep watching because you don't want to miss the end. Upload regularly. Being consistent is crucial since it informs your audience of when to anticipate new content from you. It communi- That's what you gotta do. Make sure y'all upload regularly. Whenever you schedule to upload, whether it's once a week, three times a week, four times a week, whatever, make sure you stay consistent with it. Always Give your followers a reason to come to your channel but if they start seeing inconsistency they're not going to show up as much so you got to stay consistent with your products and your inventory well not your inventory but you know your youtube channel this is all and uncut i'm not editing nothing you're going to get it the way i give it so you understand what i'm talking about stay consistent with it Indicates to YouTube that you're concerned about your community and your channel. It can be particularly crucial if you're trying to monetize your YouTube channel because you'll be producing more content. 
More videos on your channel increase the likelihood that your material will be seen by your target audience and give those more to watch once you've connected with them. In general, more videos equal more viewing time. Use playlists on YouTube. Playlists on YouTube are still thought to be a function that is underused. Even once you are aware of the advantages, these are nevertheless frequently disregarded despite being relatively quick to set up and offering excellent returns. Create a page for your YouTube channel. When someone views one of your videos, they might be curious to discover what other videos you have available. At this point, several of the previously described features can be combined on your YouTube channel home page. When someone clicks on your channel name or profile picture, they get on this page, which is typically the second place they go if they want to view more of your material. Three of the most crucial things you can do on your channel page are to highlight a featured video, display categories as playlists, and make it obvious what your channel is all about with a YouTube banner. A brief video, channel trailer, that introduces your channel and explains why viewers should subscribe should be your featured video. For the most realistic portrayal that will make viewers enthusiastic about your videos, emphasize what you showcase most and what they should expect from your videos. One of the best strategies to get more subscribers is to classify your channel using your playlists. This is due to the fact that as soon as they arrive on your channel, they are aware of what you do and the kinds of movies to which they may look forward. Create attention-grabbing thumbnails. This one may seem quite obvious, but it's still important to note because so many people disregard YouTube thumbnails. The thumbnail is frequently the first aspect of your video that a potential audience will see. If it's boring, uninteresting, and bland, that person won't click through, and you won't receive the view. So, that's it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Hit us up in the comments and let's chat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for our channel so you never miss what's coming next from us. Thanks for watching. When launching a YouTube. So, what did y'all think of that video? I found it very interesting and helpful. So, if you like more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to follow me, my channel, and follow their channel. They give you some great insights on how to grow your channel. So, until next time, peace. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed